And this is the global forecast for November 2021, brought to you by the wonderful people at AskTheAnswer.com, the UK's leading website for tarot readers, psychics, mystics and channelers. This is not an easy month. I suspect it might be one of the most difficult months of the year, if not the most difficult month of the year. But um, I'm not looking at the usual suspects here. I'm not going to mention COVID. Whoops. Um, there's a number of things going on this month that need looking at. Firstly, there's the new moon in Scorpio on the 4th of November, around about 9 p.m. UK time. The new moon is at 12 degrees 40 of Scorpio. At the time of the new moon, Uranus in the sky will be at 12 degrees 47 of Taurus. So the new moon is precisely opposite Uranus. Sun and moon together, opposite Uranus. This is going to bring sudden, unpredictable changes into the world. Now, they might be for the positive. They might be scintillating, uh, um, um, fun, adventurous, innovative, original, futuristic. They could equally be disruptive, chaotic, dramatic, sudden and unpredictable. One thing's for sure, the more we get into the next few days, as we get towards the 4th of November, things are going to take a turn for the unusual and there will be some sudden changes that will make the world sit up and go, what? I didn't see that one coming. Shortly after this, Mercury moves into Scorpio on the 5th of November and then rapidly conjoins Mars and there will be a Mercury-Mars conjunction on the 10th of November pretty much exactly square Saturn. And indeed, on the 10th of November itself, the moon in the sky will be in Aquarius, conjunct Saturn. So for oh, in the latter part of the 10th of November, European time, so that's the morning American time, and the evening of the 10th of November and early morning of the 11th, Japanese, Singapore, Australia time, there will be a conjunction of the moon and Saturn in Aquarius, square Mercury and Mars in Scorpio. This is volatile. It's dynamic, it's downright stubborn, it might makes right, and there's going to be some relatively explosive changes going on around the world, and I do use that word appropriately, I think. I don't necessarily mean through terrorism or bombs, but in ways that's going to upset a lot of people in the world and, and, and wobble their perceived status quo. Then we get to the middle of the month. There is a partial eclipse of the moon. Now, the moon will be at the end of Taurus. The sun will be at the end of Scorpio. Both these planets at the moment of full moon will be working very well with Pluto. So it's not a difficult full moon, but it is eclipsed. It's not a total eclipse, it's a partial eclipse. So it, it, there will be, you know, depending on where you are on the planet, an, an element of the moon will be occluded from view. There will be a sort of crescent full moon in the sky and part of it will be really bright and white and part of it will be brown and orange. The, you might not even see part of it depending on the weather at the time where you are. The full moon in Taurus, it's okay but it's an eclipse and it's the start of an even bigger eclipse season that's coming in early December. We live in crazy times and I do believe that November and, and, and through to mid-December is in many ways summing up 2021. So, you know, roller skates on, surfboard at the ready, flow with the go, be Teflon coated, dance with it. Don't try and control the processes you're with now, dance with them. Catch you later. Bye.